The fixed mount enhanced multi-cannon is the most powerful mounting option available for this weapon. While these improvements are noticeable when firing, the higher shot speed, compared to the Aegis variant, does not improve performance enough to overcome the mount's higher skill ceiling. Veteran players, comfortable with manual aiming, will definitely find use for these fixed multi-cannons, but average and new players are unlikely to favor the much more demanding requirement for fine ship control. Generally speaking, fixed mount projectile weapons that require time on target are disfavorable because the flight model in Elite Dangerous makes it relatively easy for defending ships to deny this time on target. In PvP, this is accomplished by boosting away from a target, flipping and boosting back in as fast as possible, resulting in a joust that is repeated until one ship breaks. Against Thargoids, who possess high speed and maneuverability compared to most human ships, their ability to turn hard and accelerate fast make using any fixed multi-cannon tricky to begin with. This can be partially overcome by using smaller, lighter ships, like the Viper, which possess the maneuverability and acceleration to keep pace with any ship the Thargoids can throw at it. In my playtesting, the Viper was able to apply the fixed amount effectively, but the scouts are so maneuverable that it's easy for one to overwhelm a pilot's ability to center the lead marker. Once centered, the size 2 fixed mount AX multi-cannon delivers unimpressive damage that comes with a high requirement for time on target. Regeneration scouts are able to unmake most of the progress towards a successful kill, which is frustrating and makes the weapon a little less enjoyable over longer play sessions. For comparison, this Viper is also equipped with a Salvation variant of the Guardian Shard Launcher. Despite being size 1, this weapon is far more effective and reliable than the fixed multi-cannon, able to fill all the same roles that the multi-cannon can, because these two weapons share the same practical range. The Shard is much more usable as a fixed weapon because it inflicts all its damage in a single blast, while the multi-cannon wants to wallow in the lead marker like an elephant seal. The size 3 fixed enhanced AX multi-cannon can do a little more damage in the same situations, but ships that can fit it are less maneuverable, further raising the skill floor to heights that most players won't enjoy. The Vulture is the most maneuverable ship capable of fitting large hardpoints, but the Vulture isn't a good choice for Thargoid combat, and hasn't been for a long time, so I don't have one fitted properly. Regardless, I tossed a few of these multi-cannons on one that I had fitted for combat zones and gave it the old college try, forgetting that, without an AX scanner, it's impossible to read the hull integrity of scouts in order to measure effective damage, though I doubt that matters because I got my ass kicked in under 5 minutes and had to leave. Fixed mount multi-cannons of any size are definitely not the thing to equip for fighting scouts, though against interceptors they are more useful. The fixed multi-cannon still isn't great at exertion damage, but the size 2 hardpoint still delivered enough heart damage to be effective once exerted. I did not get the chance to test this part of the fight with the Vulture, but the results can be reasonably expected to be like the Viper, but a little bit better after the heart is out. Unless you happen to be one of those rare commanders who can pop off with a weapon like this, and you know who you are, it's best saved for smaller ships or just for fun builds. Commanders looking to get high volume work done will be able to find more effective hardpoint combinations with a far lower twitch reflex requirement. Best to wait and see what the gimbaled variant brings to the table when it drops in the near future. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.